Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Well, today I want to talk to you about what happened with Silicon Valley Bank and the Federal Reserve's actions and what it might mean for inflation going forward. First of all, we have to understand what happened at Silicon Valley Bank or SVB. If you look at this chart here, this comes directly from the Federal Reserve, and this is looking at where banks hold their assets. And you can see banks are very well diversified within their portfolio. They only had 12% of their portfolio mortgage-backed securities. Mortgage-backed securities are longer term in nature where you're buying, they're holding mortgages. And especially when rates are going up, people aren't gonna be uh, cashing in their mortgages anytime soon. SVB, on the other hand, had three and a half times what the average bank did. They had 41% of their portfolio mortgage-backed securities. According to their annual report, close to $90 billion in those long-term securities. Now, this is kind of surprising because Federal Reserve presidents, like Esther George of the uh, Kansas City Federal Reserve, was saying back in last January and February that the Federal Reserve was gonna sell their mortgage-backed securities. That was their intention. And they had 25% of the mortgage-backed security market. Didn't take a genius to realize Anybody that holds mortgage-backed securities is going to get hurt. But the question is, how bad did they get uh, get hurt? Well, if you look at this chart, last year we had interest rates going up. And when interest rates go up, bonds move in opposite direction. Kind of think of it as a seesaw. On one side, if uh, you know if it goes up, interest rates go up. Bond prices go down on the on the seesaw on the other side. Uh, and the further you're out in duration, the further you go down. Well, that's proven here. If you look at last year, you had the ag, which was down 13%, compared to TLT, which is a longer term uh, US Treasury um, ETF, which was down 31%. So when you have over almost $9 billion of your, of your assets, $90 billion in these longer dated securities um, that dropped 33%, that's gonna cause a problem with that bank. This was all a bank management problem and the management of the assets. They should have been getting out of these long dated securities when the Federal Reserve was telling them they were gonna raise rates. Now, what does this mean for inflation going forward? This is gonna be very important with SVB and what the Federal Reserve's reaction is gonna be over the next couple months. And that's shown here over the last year. We've had what is known as quantitative tightening where the Federal Reserve has been selling off some of their securities into the market, taking out some liquidity from the market. And so the first, this is looking over the last year, the first 51 weeks, they took out $620 billion out of the system, really draining the system. However, just look what happened last week. In the very last week, they went ahead and saw their assets increase by almost 300 billion, $299 billion. So they took away just in one week, they got rid of half of what they were doing in 51 weeks. So this is something we have to watch very closely because this will have an impact on inflation. And what do we mean by that? Well, if you look at this chart, this is a longer looking chart, and we're looking at the Federal Reserve assets compared to CPI. Now, the assets on their books, when COVID hit, you can see a huge jump up in the Federal Reserve's assets. They were pumping money into the system. We didn't see CPI go up and you shouldn't have seen CPI go up. Why? Because everyone was hunkered down. We weren't spending any money. We were saving money. So it didn't impact the economy. And there is a lag effect from when they're going ahead and doing this. And you can see that, yeah, it jumped up and the, you know, you saw the assets increase, but you could see CPI rose more rapidly and actually caught up to it. All of it was that lag from what happened when the Federal Reserve was buying assets. But notice here, there at the end, the last year, as the Federal Reserve was doing quantitative tightening, you saw them bend the curve and CPI was actually coming down year over year. It's still over 6.4%, so it's still high. But if the Federal Reserve continues to increase their asset base here, that is bad news for inflation. Um, and if they, we were gonna have to watch this over the next couple months, because if that little blip up, that 300 billion continues to go up, you would actually start seeing inflation go up, which would be a bad side for inflation. Um, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, reach out to us at our website or give us a call. If you like the video, share it with your friends or give us a, a like on YouTube. 
um, that really helps us. Take care and look forward to talking to you in a couple weeks.